Okay, so we've got the spigot installed in the bottling bucket, and we're filling it up with some cold water there for the iota pour. Um, and I just thought it'd be a good time to let you know, this is always how I do it. I start filling it with the uh, spigot side here, hanging over into the sink, just in case I didn't tighten it enough and I get any leaks. You don't have to worry about it spilling out on your countertops or onto your floor or anything like that. Um, just kind of a safeguard. Little tip thought I'd share with you guys. So once it reaches about the four gallon mark, that's where I go ahead and put in the iota four, just so that way it you know has a chance to mix it up, um, just by the water coming in. So here we go, and in it goes. Also makes it nice and easy to rinse that off. Iota four does stain like crazy, so you want to make sure to. Get it off the side of your walls in its concentrated form, just so that way it doesn't stain them. Not that it would stain, it's not bad, obviously, it's super sanitized. <laughs> but it looks bad, I think, so. But that's just me, I'm kind of finicky about that. Okay, so now that the bottling bucket is sanitizing, we'll go ahead and get our priming solution water here up to a boil. And now the perfect time to measure out our corn sugar. Like I said, we need about five ounces of this. This is a half an ounce scoop. This may take a little while. Five ounces. So now if you kind of settle this out here, you see we're right at about three quarters of a cup. So that is perfect. So now we'll just wait for this to boil and then we'll get it put in. Okay, there we go. To boil. So now we'll just pour this in. Mix it in. And then we'll continue letting it boil so it gets sanitized. Sterilized, actually, I do believe. Um, The moral of the sugar with uh, <laughs> the moral of the story with this one is that you don't want too much sugar in. Uh, you don't want to over prime your bottles because that's what leads to bottles blowing up and making messes. So that's good. So now what we'll do? We'll just let that boil for a few minutes, and uh, while that's doing that, we're going to go ahead and get to sanitizing our bottles. Okay, so that's been boiling for about five minutes now or so, so now we'll just turn that off. We'll take it off the hot uh, part of the burner here, and we'll just let that cool down there um, and pretty much until we're ready to use it. By that time, it should be cooled down um, right to where we need it. Okay, so we got everything sanitized here. We've uh, got our bucket here. It is closed. Perfect. And so now we're pretty much ready to get the beer moving from the carboy here, or better bottle, into the bucket. So we'll just pop that there. Put that in. Give it a couple pumps. Like I said, I usually like to wait until it gets up a little bit um, before I put the priming sugar in, just to just to make sure that it's going in a nice circular motion. So any second here. Okay, so in it goes.
Okay, there we go. So now we just wait until uh, until it's full. Okay, so we've got the uh, beer in our bottling bucket here. The siphon tubing is hooked up to our bottle filler or bottling wand. So now let's get to it. Okay, so now that the uh, beer is in the bottle, it is time to get the caps on. sizes of bottles here. I didn't think about it, but um, I'm going to go ahead and try to bottle them all kind of in the same height, so that way I'm not going from high to low and then trying you know, try not to hit smaller bottles and <laughs> all that. Don't want to spill this. Okay, so there we go. We ended up getting um, 47 12 ounces, two of these larger 22 ounces, and of course the one big one liter easy capper here. Um, so not too bad of a turnout at all. Actually, quite a full batch. Happy with how that turned out. Um, so now we'll just need to let these set for. Um, a week or two. Um, given that it's a light, a very, very, very light beer, to be honest, you could. I don't think this thing's flavor is going to change very much with uh, with age. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is probably in about a week crack one open just to see how its carbonation is going, and if um, and if it's good, well, we're going to be throwing back a couple of these. Like I said, they're very, very light body, light flavor. It'll be a good just chill out beer. Um, just to have while we're um, you know, sitting down relaxing. So, until then, we'll see you guys in a week or two when we do the tasting. Cheers, guys.